faster than DSL with Power Boost. We want a phone service that saves us money. Cox Digital Telephone gives you a low monthly rate that stays low and an expanded local calling area. I want it all for less. The Cox Bundle. Now just $89.99 a month for six months. Order now and ask how to get up to $300 cash back on select Cox services with mail-in rebate. What's on your wish list this season? I want a faster internet than DSL. Cox High Speed Internet gives you download speeds up to 30 megs with Power Boost. That's way faster than DSL. You'll also get free McAfee-powered security suite and up to 10 email addresses for the entire family. Only Cox High Speed Internet was rated the fastest internet service provider in the South by the PCMag.com 2010 Reader Speed Test. Get Cox High Speed Internet as low as $19.99 a month for three months. Order now and ask how to get up to $300 cash back on select Cox services with mail-in rebate. You're watching CST. The following is an exclusive presentation of CST. When it comes to the hardwood, things have been better in Baton Rouge. The LSU Tigers are young and talented. However, three losses in the last four games have Trent Johnson's team limping towards conference play. The Southern Jaguars are off to one of their worst starts in the program's rich history at 1 and 10. Nothing would kickstart their season more than a victory over their crosstown rival. It's the Battle of Baton Rouge. Southern versus LSU next on CST. Assembly Center on the campus of LSU. CST is proud to bring you LSU men's basketball. Tonight, the Tigers host the Swacks, Southern Jaguars. On a chilly evening, welcome inside, everyone, with former LSU standout Collis Temple III. I'm Lynn Rollins. Happy holidays to you. You know, Collis, today officially is the third day of Christmas, but instead of three French hens, these two teams would like a victory at the end of the game. You're definitely right, Lynn. Both of these teams early in the pre-conference schedule have struggled. You know, LSU with its youth, you know, Southern overall, they've had a tough time this, uh, you know, this year, and they really both are looking for a victory tonight. Especially as they get ready for conference play only a few days away. Let's look at some numbers. What has gone right for these teams and what has gone wrong to this point? You know, unfortunately for both of these teams, there's been more that's gone wrong. But when you look specifically at the assist to turnover ratio, it's been the, 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 the weakest spot on both of them. Both of these teams, a good team has a three to one, in some cases a two to one assist to turnover ratio. Both of these teams right now have a negative assist to turnover ratio, so they need to improve there. Well, Collis, let's look at our cribs and roofing matchup of the game. For Southern, it's Blake Sanford for LSU, Ralston Turner. Both of these guys have played a role in helping their teams this year, but, you know, Blake Sanford coming off a 22-point game to high for, for Southern this year. Ralston Turner, a freshman, 13, almost 14 points a game, three rebounds, and when he plays better, LSU seems to play better. How about the Eric Hill Nissan keys to the game for LSU? What's important for the Tigers tonight? Well, there are a couple of things that they need to do better. Uh, the first thing, dish the rock and keep the rock. They got to get more assists and less turnovers. Need to take care of the ball better. The third, the second thing, limit dribble penetration. Too many teams have been getting too deep in the paint and creating too much on offense. And then the third thing, win the battle of the boards. Southern has been out rebounded by on an average of 12 rebounds per game this year, and LSU needs to out rebound them again tonight. Both of these teams are looking for victories in their first game after Christmas. Coming up next, it's Southern and LSU. It's a cat fight straight ahead on CST. <laughs> Not all parts are created equal which is something to think about, considering there are tens of thousands of different parts. Now, I can tell you that cat parts are the absolute best out there because it's true, but I can't really show you because it's hard to see the difference. But believe me, that difference is what sets Caterpillar apart. For all your Caterpillar needs, contact Louisiana Machinery at 866-843-7440. Offense to other energy sources, but safe, reliable natural gas is just better. 
For starters, it's safe, reliable, and natural. But it's also efficient, clean, and the kind of energy you never need to worry about. It's always there. Heating your home, cooking your dinner, just making life more comfortable. Doesn't that sound nice? That's Atmos Energy, your natural gas company. Jaguar starting lineup for Southern, Jameel Grace, Brandon White, Blake Sanford, Julius Ingram, and Madute Bowl in the middle for the Jaguars. For LSU, Andre Stringer, Ralston Turner, Aaron Dotson, Garrett Green gets his first start tonight this year, and Storm Warren, it's Green for LSU instead of Malcolm White on the front line. You know, Green actually tonight uh, getting his first start, but he's also had back-to-back -back games where he uh, scored double figures, Lynn. And three of the last four. There's Rob Spivery in his sixth season as the Jaguars head coach. 54 and 111 is his record. Trent Johnson in his third season, 45 and 33 at LSU. And of course, he has a Southeastern Conference championship under his belt in year one. Our Napa Auto Parts Series history, LSU has never lost in the previous eight games. And the Tigers in 2008, one easily 88 to 45 on this court. Here is our injury report. Quentin Doggett will be playing today. He's been a starter for seven games. Been out for a while with a knee injury, but he'll be back off the bench. Dennis Harris is not with the team. He was coming back, got caught up in that bad weather in Atlanta. He's out of Georgia. He couldn't make his flight connections. And so Dennis Harris unable to get back to Baton Rouge post Christmas. Southern in the light blue, LSU in white. Here is our Louisiana machinery opening tip off. Welcome to Baton Rouge, everyone, with Collis Temple III. I'm Lynn Rollins. We've got holiday basketball for you. LSU will play almost exclusively man to man. Collis, you talked about the need for the Tigers to keep the ball out of the paint. North Texas, quite frankly, dissected LSU's defense and scored a whole lot of points in the paint in that victory in the last game. And one of the things you talked about just now, LSU exclusively playing a man-to-man -man, uh, defense. Usually when you play a zone, it's designed to keep teams out of the paint. But because of Trent Johnson, uh, Co Coach Johnson's philosophy, he's going to play man-to-man. -man. So these guys, uh, specifically the guards, are going to do a better job of guarding and keeping these guys out of the paint. 14 on the shot clock. This will count for a deep deuce if it goes. Bowl takes it and misses the 6'9 sophomore. More about him in a moment. String a great rebound there. And once again, LSU uh, needs to have a better assist to turnover ratio as the seven tonight uh, in order for either of these teams to give themselves a shot. Stringer looking inside to Green, but he's double teamed. Seven on the shot clock. Now Garrett's got it. Puts his shoulder into the defender. His shot is blocked by Bowl, and the loose ball picked up by Southern's Jameel Grace, the six-foot sophomore. 
Here's Ingram, kicks it to the right side for Grace. Back outside it goes for Sanford. He'll take the three over Turner. Almost wedged it, Green takes the flat-footed rebound. Garrett Green has been good off the bench the last couple of weeks for LSU. Yes, he's really played very well. Um, that probably has something to do with why he's getting the start tonight. And he will go to the free throw line. Garrett Green wants the ball down low, right. and he's going to go to the stripe. You know, he's playing a lot more aggressively, um, and, you know, he just has a whole different mentality, it seems, about the way he's been playing as of, uh, lately. Ingram picked up the foul. It's the first of the game. And Garrett Green misses the free throw. Let's look at tonight's Gulf Coast Office Products trivia question. Between the two teams, how many players are from Baton Rouge? How many players are hometowners between Southern and LSU? We will answer the question for you in a moment. one nothing Tigers on the free throw by Garrett Green. Whistle as the shot was being taken, and I believe the Southern player stepped on the inline. Ingram stepped on the baseline as he was attempting the shot. So the turnover gives LSU the basketball. We've played a couple of minutes. Green has a point from the free throw line. Dotson got in trouble. Green picks up the loose ball. Came up short on that 17-footer. He rushed it a little bit and yeah. didn't need to do so. Yeah, he did. And the quick lay-in by Brandon White. He's one of the guys from Baton Rouge, a 6'3 senior, averaging 6.6 .6 a game. He has started every game for Southern, and he gives the Jaguars the lead. Green sets the high pick, rolls back down low. Instead, Stringer turns and fires. It bounces out deep, rebound to White. White on the lob, way high off the window. That wasn't close. Turner down to Green, who was running the floor, stripped out of his hands. Sanford with good hands, stripped it loose. Good job by Sanford right there, getting back. Uh, Garrett didn't see him coming on the weak side, and he did a good job of uh, keeping the ball in play and knocking it out of Garrett's hands. Two to one, Southern. On the bucket by White, Green has a free throw for LSU in the first three minutes. Green gave up the baseline, but the awkward shot by Bowl didn't get there. And here's Here. LSU pushing the ball, looking for Dotson. Uh, right now, Southern's whole focus is going up and down, up and down, up and down. And LSU really is playing right into their, you know, no half-court offense. They don't have any really big uh, guys who can kind of slow the game down. And so they want to go up and down. And LSU basically playing right into their hands right now. Green with the block and the save leads to the bucket. And a blocking foul is called. And this will put Storm Warren at the free throw line. Great job right here, Ralston Turner. Great entry pass to Storm Warren. You know, we talked earlier about the fact that, that Storm um, has probably been a little bit disappointed uh, this year. Hadn't played quite as well as he's capable of playing. Um, of course, he's got plenty of, you know, SEC season to play, but uh, he's capable of being a, a much bigger scorer and a bigger rebounder as well. And, uh, and with him increasing his game, LSU is going to play better, better, better this year. Warren completes the three-point play. He is making his 44th consecutive start. Storm Warren, the junior out of Monroe, four to two LSU. Ingram. Misses with the left hand. Ball tipped around by Malcolm White a couple of times. That's swatted down by Warren. The fadeaway bounces off the back iron. Missed by Ingram. Southern in the powder blue controls. And here we go. We talked about the third thing was control the boards. As they struggle here, clearly, oh, that was, oh, you know, it looked like he may have been on the line. It was pretty close right there. Uh, you can't really see from that angle, but um, we talked about controlling the boards being the third thing. Offensive rebounds, LSU cannot allow Southern to get those offensive rebounds. Chris Bass and Eddie Ludwig have checked into the game for the Tigers. We have played four minutes. White can't shoot over Bass. From the left wing, the jumper no good by Sanford. The Tigers control Bass. 
Waits for everybody to get in place. Ludwig. Darren Becker, Matt Darren Becker, averaging almost four points in 15 minutes a game. Here's White, left hand, in and out. That went down, rattled a couple of times, uh, and then exited the rim. We will step aside. Points have been difficult to come by early. LSU has a three-point play by Warren and a free throw by Green. A bucket by White for Southern. It's 4-2 LSU. With a broken heart, I can't help you. Rocket science, don't know what to tell you. But great gifts are something Napa knows about. Get a 60-piece socket and bit set for just $11.99. Or get a five-piece XP ratcheting wrench set in SAE or metric for only $24.99. It's all at the place with the Napa know-how. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I think about. Locations throughout. Team Honda used cars never before seen. Never before. Have certified Hondas been priced this low? Never before. Has our certified selection been bigger? Never before. Have the savings been better? Don't miss the never before sales event at Team Honda on Sigan Lane and Team South on Airline. If you or a loved one took a Vandia and suffered death, heart attack, or stroke, call the number on your screen now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Avandia, a type 2 diabetes drug, may be linked to death, heart attack, or stroke. If you or a loved one took Avandia and suffered death, heart attack, or stroke, call 1-800-948-5743 now for your free legal consultation. This is it. The final days of Toyotathon at Team Toyota. This is it. Your last chance to get our lowest prices of the year on every new Toyota in stock. This is it. Don't miss the final days of the year's biggest clearance sale. Toyotathon at Team Toyota, I-12 and O'Neill. 9-3-4. Let's look around the Southeastern Conference. Here are the Western Division standings presented by Acme Oyster House. Arkansas and Ole Miss have the best records. Mississippi State, LSU, Alabama, and Auburn follow. Conference play has not yet started. On the Eastern side, both Kentucky, Florida, and Tennessee are ranked. Georgia has a 9-2 record. At this point, the East looks a bit more formidable than the West in the SEC. And checking in the game uh, for the first time in a couple of games, Darren Populist, the uh, sophomore guard from Slidell, Salmon High School, number 25. It won't be hard to find him. He's one of the smallest players on the court, averaging 1.3 points in six games. Bass may have gotten away with a bump, the shot off the mark by Grace. And here comes LSU. The Tigers look like they want to push it. It's Bass and Populist in the game right now, along with Darren Becker, White, and Ludwig. Both teams having a great deal of difficulty. Two for 16 between them in the first five minutes. Darren Becker from long range on line, but off the 10. And the rebound pulled off by Ray Ray Chase. Good job by Ludwig getting a hand in there. Knocking the ball off of Ray Ray Chase. Let's answer tonight's Gulf Coast Office products trivia question. Between these teams, how many players are from Baton Rouge? I'm going to guess four. Well, four. I was right. LSU, four. Bass and White. White and Webb for Southern. I promise you that was my answer before it came on the screen. Right. Yeah, that's because you, you have the information right in front of you, Lynn. Darren Becker with a move. Nice move by Darren Becker. It's nice spin move in the lane. You know, it's funny when you think about that because I can remember while I was here, there were easily six, seven guys, mm -hmm. uh, in some cases seven, eight guys from Baton Rouge. You know, when my younger brother was here, mm -hmm. the entire starting five was from within, you know, 70 miles. Uh, you know, so. Ooh, there's a tough tumble there. And Bass oh. is helped up by his teammate Darren Becker, the foul on Grace. That's a hard fall. That's a fall from grace, isn't it? <laughs> that was bad, man. <laughs> Ludwig with a nice loop pass inside. White couldn't handle it, though. He's saying he was hit on the wrist. Here comes Southern. White 
swatted away by Malcolm White, and he takes the loose ball. Good job. And, you know, one of the things Populus did a good job right there of keeping uh, the Southern offensive player from getting into the lane, and that's one of the things we talked about. You yeah, got to keep these guys out of the paint. Southern wants to push it. They want to put themselves in a position to get some, some uh, opportunities to get to the basket, and LSU must limit them. Limit Cold them. shooting continues for both teams. Three of 21 combined. LSU looking to make a mass substitution. Five out, five in. This will be the first time, I believe, that there have been five new players come in this season for LSU. Right. Ludwig saves it in the corner. We have played seven minutes. The Tigers lead the Jaguars six to two. Brandon White has the only Southern bucket. Southern is one for 13. LSU is two for nine. White misses at point blank range. There was a foul. And let's check the new Tigers. Green is coming in. So is Warren. The whole start five. So is Stringer. And so is Dotson. And, you know, really with White point blank range missing, you can't get a better offensive uh, opportunity than that. So. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be said. They realize they got to make those. Ralston Turner also back in the game. So the opening quintet has returned for the Tigers. 6 to 2, 12.45 to go first half. Southern has dropped back into a 2 3 matchup zone. This will count for three if it goes. Turner missed it. Rebound to Southern. Here come the Jaguars. It's been a long time since Southern has had a bucket. The last Southern hoop was at the 17.51 mark. So it's been better than five minutes. Southern with one basket. That coming from Brandon White. From the left wing, the miss by Ray Ray Chase. But it is controlled in the other corner by Ingram. Here's Webb. Has an open look. Too long. Dotson for the rebound. Turner. Green wanted it. He was yelling for it inside. Right. Turner decided he would play it safe. Turner bouncing off a couple of players. And a bumping foul is called. And that's going to go against Neil Webb. That's his first. The Battle of Baton Rouge is always tough. Contact. Warren gets a shot in the snows. With WCK, your home will be okay. Engineers agree WCK Foundation Repair uses the best method for Louisiana's unique soils. State licensed with 25 years experience, so you know the job will be done right. Locally owned with a lifetime transferable warranty. WCK Foundation Repair. Call 664-5956 today for a free estimate. Text message. I started with a budget and blew right through it. I added the rims, low profile tires, uh, the body kit. So yeah, I keep an eye out for the speed bumps. I hate that sound. I've spent more on modifications than the original car. You protect that kind of investment. I use Texaco with Tecron because it cleans the engine, uh, helps keep it running good. People who know cars trust the unbeatable cleaning power of Texaco with Tecron. Oh, the wing? <laughs> yeah, it's a little over the top. <laughs> Since we last saw the belly buddies, they now all have little buddies of their own, all born at Woman's. Together with the experts at Woman's, they shared the experience of a lifetime and now want to share it with you. Find out who loved her natural birth, who had nurse cheerleaders, and who the buddies rallied around when complications occurred. It was exceptional care centered on me. Find out more about all the buddies at womans.org. Woman's exceptional cares. Tonight, after the Saints-Falcons game, tune to CST for live post-game coverage on Saints Tonight from the Louisiana Machinery Studio. Not only will you get a complete analysis of the game with highlights and scores, but Mike Babers is live from the Georgia Dome with post-game interviews, including our one-on-one -on -one with Drew Brees. It's Saints Tonight immediately following the Saints-Falcons game. Game days on CST. Saints Tonight. 
We're in Baton Rouge for basketball. LSU and Southern. Turner for three from the right side. He nestles it in behind the zone defense. And, you know, Southern going to force LSU to shoot threes because the bottom line, LSU 3 of 12 now, but prior to that, 2 of 11. Um, if, if you want somebody shooting a shot from anywhere, you want them shooting it from outside. And with the way that they're not shooting it very well, if you can get them to take a jumper versus try to drive to the basket, it's a better decision. Storm Warren knocked the basketball loose from Ray Ray Chase. Stringer takes the deep one, misses. Southern in blue with the rebound. LSU leads by seven following the Ralston Turner three-pointer. That was the first triple of the game. Dotson takes it away, tries to draw the foul and scores. Aaron Dotson's first bucket to 6 4 sophomore from Seattle. Let's look at Aaron Dotson stretch the LSU lead to nine. Good defense right here by Aaron and taking it straight at the chest and finishing. Great job right there getting to the basket. Aaron Dotson. We invite you to check out the rest of this week's college hoop schedule on CST. Tomorrow, it's two live matchups from the Big East and then the SEC starting at 6 o'clock. Wednesday brings more Southeastern Conference action. Then on Thursday, it's the Razorbacks at 7 o'clock. For the complete college basketball schedule on CST, log on to college, uh, Cox Sports TV. Dot com CST our most prolific lineup of college basketball ever we're just getting started with hoops we've got a foul away from the ball I think on Storm Warren it is that's his first not too many fouls right here LSU that's their first foul of the game Southern has committed five. Ten and a half to play first half. For three and in, Jamil Grace. Grace is now eight for 21 from three-point range, making his seventh start. That's the first bucket in nearly seven and a half minutes for Southern. Dotson with the offensive rebound, backs away, looks over the zone. Stringer from straight away. He'll shoot it from that distance. He just did, right. Green, double teamed in the key, finds an open player in the corner, and the jumper missed by Turner. Another offensive rebound saved by Dotson. Good rebound by Dotson right there. Good job of keeping the ball alive. Warren out to Stringer. LSU moving from side to side. Dotson dribbled between the double team. Green is open. That shot's got to go. That right. was an easy 14-footer. And been shooting them short. He's uh he's missed three of them short. Southern leading by one in the rebound department. Now by two. And the little baby jump hook rolls in for Ray Ray Chase, a 6'8 freshman who plays about 12 minutes a game and averages three and a half points. That was his first bucket. Once again, LSU being out rebounded, we talked about the fact that they needed to control the boards. They're going to have to do a better job of blocking out on the uh, offensive, on the defensive boards. Warren from short range on the baseline, a little bit long. LSU on its last two possessions has had good looks right. from the right wing. They haven't gone down. Chase forced it up over Green. Stringer, Dotson, tried to leave it back for Green. It made it all the way through the defense to Stringer, and he rips one from three-point range. Nice job by Andre right there, gathering himself, pull it up, and hitting. That's his favorite spot on the court. Twice, he, the has, key. twice he has scored 21 points this year. Four times he has had four threes in a game. That was his first bucket, and it stretches the LSU lead to 14-7. Warren saves it to Green. Here comes Stringer. Dotson wants it on the other side of the zone. Tigers stay on the left side. And the rebound pulled off by Southern after the Turner miss. Here comes White. This will go for two. 
Dotson had the rebound. Green picks it up after the miss by Coleman. There are a lot of chests heaving out there right now. This has been a pretty, pretty frenetic pace without a lot of scoring. Stringer pulls up, 24-footer. He's two for two on his last shots from there. Right. You know, one of the things that you're exactly right, for the speed with which these guys are playing tonight, the score does not reflect the speed with, uh, with which they're playing, and that's just because they hadn't been hitting most of the jump shots or shots period they've taken. This is the largest lead for LSU. And yet Southern will continue to play fast. That looked like an extra step, but there was a foul involved there, and it's against Stringer. Andre Stringer, after a slow start, has pumped in a couple from straight away. There's one. Here's another one, and the lead is 10 for the Tigers. New Orleans is known as a place defined by the unique sound of its music and the richness of its foods, often blended in exotic combinations found no place else. Everywhere, people enjoy good food with good friends. Crystal has added an extra measure of zest and flavor to favorite dishes here at home and on tables around the world. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Al Balmer, Jr., president of Balmer Foods, the maker of Crystal Hot Sauce. Thank you for letting Crystal be part of your good times. traditions were never born overnight, and Acme Oyster House is no exception. Born to the French Quarter in 1910, Acme Oyster House has been serving the coldest raw oysters and the hottest char grills for almost 100 years. Locals and tourists alike know that Acme's New Orleans style cooking, combined with a fun and festive environment, can be found just through our front door. Acme Oyster House, born in the French Quarter, praised all over. Let's look around the SEC, courtesy of Gulf Coast Office Products. The SEC player of the week, Kenny Boynton from Florida, 15 points in the Gators' win over number six, Kansas State. The freshman of the week, Trevor Relaford of Alabama, averaging 11 and four against Southeastern and Oklahoma State. And Billy Donovan gets his 340th victory. That's tied for third most wins by an SEC coach. Dale Brown is number two on the list. It's with 448. Eight off for up, number one. Jameel Grace, the sophomore, making his seventh start. Bags both free throws. And the lead is eight for the Tigers. Grace is replaced by White. Brandon White re-entering the game for the Jaguars, the senior from Baton Rouge. Stringer has hit a couple of threes. Southern shooting 15%, LSU at 30%. 30% is not normally enough to have an eight-point lead. No, but, you know, it's almost double, and LSU has almost doubled Southern score, so... The numbers are telling you exactly where uh, where these teams are right now. LSU battling hard, keeping it alive. Turner made a bad pass a little bit wide of White. White was open, but Turner threw it to his left. Which was a Southern defender standing right there. We come near the six-minute mark in the first half. Bass will check in at the next whistle for LSU. Cole sets a pick. And the left-hander high off the window by White is good. Brandon White with nice penetration and very nice control at the rim. Great move right there. Uh, beating Stringer off the dribble. 
White wants it. Turner was just a little bit late getting it to him. Right. You know, a lot of times um, when you have a freshman, like a guy like Rawson Turner, who's come in and probably scored so many different, so many points in his high school career, in some cases, as White makes a nice little turnaround baseline jumper, some cases uh, the freshmen don't understand or don't necessarily know how to make a, a, a quality post feed, whether it's, you know, feeding the, 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 the high post at the free throw line or the low post. And I've seen Ralston Turner uh, has not been as comfortable passing the ball to the post, even when guys are open, just because of, you know, hands or whatever. You look right there, they were on defense from a, a, a it's a lot tougher to make a, a post feed when a team is playing a zone like Southern is right now. Bowl from the wing didn't get it there. White with the rebound. Here comes Darren Becker. Now Stringer back to Darren Becker. Jalen Courtney. Oh, he, he walked. He, he took yeah. a couple of extra little baby steps. Didn't dribble it. Down low to White and he's pushed. Very hard foul there. White had an easy one and then was pushed out of the play. Great, there's a great entry pass and bowl coming under White. That is the second foul on Madut Bowl. His father, the late Manute Bowl, who died last spring after a long and courageous. NBA career and Madut Bowl, due to an African custom, actually left school last spring after his father died, went back home and spent three months in Africa in mourning and doing some other traditional activities and then re-enrolled in school. Mm. Quite a story. Manute Bowl, really one of the most courageous athletes ever in any sport. Right. And gave so much. And this is Madute Bowl, the late Manute Bowl's son, number 54 for Southern. Quite a story. Four and a half minutes to go. Quick from the side, and Blake Sanford missed it badly. He was saying the shot was blocked into the side. And I think the officials are going to believe him. <laughs> and I don't think it was. Well, now they reverse. No, it wasn't touched at all. But, I didn't think so. You know, the Southern players all had everybody believing it, that it was out of bounds on LSU. Southern offers a little trap now in front court. Turner's double teamed. Bass down to White. Somebody's got to be open. It is White, and he lays it in. And, and anytime you get trapped on one side of the floor, the key is reversing the ball as quickly as you can and find an open man on the opposite side of the court. 21 to 11. LSU. Offensive foul. Darren Becker hit the deck. And the foul against Southern. It's Ingram, and that's his second. Darren Becker, great job of standing in there, taking the hit. Matt Darren Becker, the youngster from Metairie. Bass will bring it up against pressure from Grace. Aaron Becker from way back. Here comes Southern, two on three. White will wait. Grace is guarded by the taller Dotson. Three and a half to play, first half. Coleman to Brandon White. He'll work against Bass. Try to wrap it around. It was deflected, and Darren Becker picks up the loose ball. That's the eighth first half turnover. White jump hook. Yes. Good entry pass right there by Dotson. Good job by White collecting himself and taking a nice hook on the left baseline. I mean, uh, left block. This is the largest lead, and it's been fueled by Malcolm White. Yeah, Malcolm. 
scored LSU's last two buckets. And here LSU is reversing the ball quickly, finding Malcolm White. He's finishing under the basket. Great pass by Bass. And here's Aaron Dotson with a nice post feed, nice little baby hook right there. Malcolm White. The Lady Tigers basketball team takes on the Ole Miss Rebels Thursday, the 20th of January, and that's live right here on CST. Tune in for the tip at 7 o'clock Central Time from the Maravich Assembly Center. CST is your regional sports network home for the Tigers, and if you want more, it's easy. Log on to CoxSportsTV.com right now. Southern led 2-1 to one early. LSU went on a 10-0 run as Southern missed 13 consecutive shots. And at, the, at one point, Southern was 1-15 for 15 in the game. Then made a little bit of a comeback, but the Tigers have strung back-to-back -back white buckets and lead 23-11 to 11 for the largest lead. Sanford off the mark. Good rebound by Malcolm White. Good job of blocking out. It's hard to believe, Collis, but Southern shoots 38% as a team. White with the follow off the Ludwig miss. Last six baskets, I mean, last six points, last three baskets, Malcolm White. Great job right there. And this is the guy, this is the Malcolm White when Coach uh, Johnson got him from Ole Miss that LSU had been expecting. And this is not. Uh, something that he cannot do with regularity, but it's something that he needs to start doing with more regularity. And a bumping foul is called against Malcolm White. That is his first. White has scored six straight points, including this finish off the miss, 25 to 11, LSU. St. Martin Oil and Gas, we know you have choices for your fuel and lubricant supplier. On behalf of all of us, we thank you for your business. We play its fast, friendly, and courteous service with quality Chevron and Texaco products. If you have fuel or lubricant requirements, choose St. Martin Oil. With bulk plants in the Baton Rouge and Lafayette markets, we provide unmatched service and we truly value and appreciate your business. St. Martin Oil and Gas, we're hungry. Hi, I'm Fred Thompson. And you know, if you're like a lot of folks out there lately, then finances might be a little tight. Well, maybe it doesn't have to be that way. Because if you're 62 years or older and own your own home, then join hundreds of thousands of other Americans who have used a reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool. A government-insured reverse mortgage allows seniors to stay in their own home and to turn their equity into tax-free cash without any monthly mortgage payments. You ought to call my friends at AAG. They could help you or your parents right now. And to find out more is absolutely free. Call 1-800-483-7026 now to receive your free DVD and brochure with no obligation. Find out how much cash you may qualify for. Call AAG today. Call 1-800-483-7026 now to get your free Better Life Information Pack and DVD. That's 1-800-483-7026. AAG, the best advice for a better life. I'm at home. We invite you to join CST Wednesday night as Victor Howe, Bob Lick, and Gil McGregor come to you live from the New Orleans Arena where the Hornets take on the Los Angeles Lakers. Catch Hornets tonight at 6.30, followed by the tip-off. Don't miss the Hornets and the defending NBA champion Lakers Wednesday in high definition on CST. It's been busy for the Hornets lately, coming off a very nice win against Atlanta last night and playing the Timberwolves in Minneapolis, cold Minneapolis, tonight. And then Wednesday, from New Orleans, the Lakers and the Hornets right here on CST. Kobe. Sanford at the line, hits one of two. Southern's going back to a man and man, uh, man and man now. Darren Becker on the weave. Late feed down to Ludwig. He couldn't do anything with it. Tigers have plenty of time to reset. And Bass will do just that. And one of the things you notice about Ludwig missed with the right hand. And Southern saves it. That one kept in play by Coleman. Guys who guard Bass 
guard him well under the three-point line and what you know he doesn't shoot a lot of threes but you know as as LSU gets in the league play he's gonna have to start making the people respect that a little bit more obviously you cannot do that with Stringer with the range that he has but you know Chris doesn't shoot threes very often well he um, shot none right zero that that's very unusual for a point guard not to launch a three Dodson with a power move in between a couple of Jaguars and he was bumped and he will shoot some free throws your point is so well made because if you can stay off of that point guard in effect five are, are defending four without a doubt and um, you know Chris he understands what his strengths are but that's going to be something that the LSU Tigers are going to need for him to at least make him respect some to some a certain extent Dodson is a good free throw shooter 74% as he collects his third point of the game. Four points and four rebounds for Aaron Dotson with 71 seconds remaining. This is the largest lead. It's 15 for the Tigers. Grace Coleman. Lob pass very nicely anticipated by Ludwig. He did a terrific job of getting around the defender. There's Bass. It rolls off the rim. Jalen Courtney got his hands on it for a moment. Bass has got to finish that. He does, but it was a great move on his part, but he does need to make sure that he finishes that. Ludwig reaching around this time and fouls Ray Ray Chase. 42 and a half seconds are left in the first half. LSU by 15. Southern is four for 25 in this game. Yeah, they're going to have a tough time um, winning with that stat line. Obviously, uh, Coach Fivery can't get out there and shoot the baskets for them, but they're having a, tough, a tougher time tonight than they have had in even some other games this season. Darren Becker reaches around, knocks it loose, and picks it up. He takes it to the rim, misses. Courtney and Hill shoots some free throws. But again, Darren Becker had a layup. That is an easy shot, and he missed it. Yeah, you know, as as uh, as, as rough a time as Southern's having it, LSU's up by 15. But I promise you, there are a lot of things that Coach Johnson's going to better go to the uh, film room. And, and improve for even the LSU Tigers, even with a 16-point lead tonight. Jalen Courtney gets into the scoring column with the free throw. He's averaged about four minutes a game when he plays. 28-12 LSU. The Tigers are shooting 30%. LSU holding Southern to 16% first-half shooting. Southern can take the last shot. Ludwig rebounds the miss by White. One second, pass for three, missed it. That nice. was his first three-point attempt of the year. And it was a nice-looking three-pointer. It just didn't go down. So after 20 minutes of action in the Maravich Assembly Center, the Tigers head to their locker room. It's the battle of Baton Rouge and the hometown team has a 28 to 12 lead. LSU and Southern playing for the ninth time and the Tigers lead by 16 in Baton Rouge in the first game following the Christmas holiday. of burning the midnight oil. Two weeks of second guessing yourself. One minute of soul searching. It all comes down to this. A Savin document management system connects you to success. To find out how, call Gulf Coast Office Products at 756-2644. Restoration is a very personal decision. Your needs
needs are unique and deserve individual consideration, not a chain store mentality. Dr. Wessner provides an artistic one-on-one -on -one doctor patient relationship with a well-trained and experienced surgical team. MicrograftHairRestoration.com, the premier hair restoration clinic of the South. Calco, first in safety, first in luxury. You know Calco. You see us on the road and all around town. Calco is luxurious interiors and the on-time dependability you trust. And for smaller groups, Calco has mid-sized buses. Offering affordability and convenience with all the amenities of a large coach. We even cover first-class needs with executive-style transportation. Go with Calco. First in safety, first in luxury. Call today or log on to calcotravel.com. Tiger fans, are you following your favorite LSU teams and coaches on Facebook and Twitter? Well, if not, why not? With LSU Connect, you get breaking news, you get exclusive video, you get score updates, and a lot more from LSU as it occurs. For more information or directions on how to sign up, log on to lsusports.net slash connect and get connected with LSU Athletics on Facebook and Twitter. We're in Baton Rouge, it's halftime. And the cat fight so far has gone LSU's way. The Tigers lead the Southern Jaguars 28 to 12 with a guy who once scored 30 points against Tennessee in an LSU uniform. That was one game or two? That, that was actually one game, right. that was one game. Collis Temple the third. my pleasure to be joined by him again as LSU is taking on Southern tonight. Collis, the Tigers have a, a lead that they probably will maintain in the second half. So as we look at the bigger picture, what does LSU need to do in the final 20 minutes, not only to win this game, but to get set for competition, which will increase in stature very shortly? Right. Well, the main thing is that at this point, LSU is not playing against Southern. You know, the, the, and obviously they are, but my point is they need to play against themselves in terms of focusing on doing uh, things the right way mm -hmm. uh, offensively running their offense uh, rebounding the ball blocking out you know playing great defense that's what they need to do in order to make sure that this second half is a productive part of their season versus just a, you know them just you know going through the last 20 minutes and getting a win on the schedule mm -hmm. let's look at our Eric Hill Nissan leading scorers here Jameel Grace with five Brandon White has four and Ray Ray Chase off the bench for two for Southern LSU has spread it around a good bit. Malcolm White has been a force in the last four or five minutes underneath. He's got eight. Andre Stringer hit back-to-back -back threes. And Aaron Dodson has a bucket and a couple of free throws for four. All five starters have scored for the LSU Tigers and a couple off the bench. LSU leads at 28 to 12. The second half is right around the corner on CST. Calco. You see us on the road and everywhere you go. Calco Travel, tours and transportation. Because at Calco, we are safe, courteous, and on time. Each driver meets the highest standards for safety and courtesy. Every motor coach is inspected, maintained, and cleaned. We know this business, and we can take you coast to coast or just to a local event. Calco, for all your tour and transportation needs. Call or log on to calcotravel.com and let us help you today. Yes, I know, yes, I know you and me would be sweet, sweet, can't be beat with our love, 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 love all the time, love all the time. Yes, I know, yes, I know you and me would be sweet. Sweet, can't be beat with our love, 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 love all the time. Every day at Golden Flake, it all starts with a special premium potato that longs for something more, more flavor and more crunch. Seeking a life of delicious variety and guaranteed freshness in every chip and every bag. That's what Golden Flake brings to the table. For us, these are the good times. Finding our way to your neighborhood grocery and into your basket headed home. Turning potatoes into the life of your party. Golden Flake, the South's original potato chip.
Welcome back to Baton Rouge. We're seconds away from the start of the second half. LSU leads by 16, which is the second biggest lead that the Tigers have had at halftime this year. LSU held an 18-point lead at the break against Centenary earlier this season. You know, we talked about the fact that 12 points is the second lowest point total that Southern scored uh, in a half. Um, do you remember who, what game that was? Richmond, I Richmond. think. And they came back in the second half and scored 31. So uh, 40 is the lowest point total of their season so far. Um, so they're looking to score at least 28 in the second half to, uh, to, to, to best that. And the Tigers open the second half with the starting quintet. Green and Warren, who takes the short jumper and knocks it down. Dotson, Stringer, and also Turner. Nice job getting the ball in the, in the paint. Nice turnaround jumper right there by Warren. That's his second bucket. He's got five points. Storm is an accurate shooter, better than 51%, but he just does not look as offensive-minded so far this year as he did in his sophomore campaign. Right. The deep jump hook is good by Madut Bowl as he looped that one in over Garrett Green from about 13 feet. That's Madut Bowl's first bucket. Green inside, blocked. And Sanford, the leading scorer for Southern, has not scored in the first, did not score in the first half, 33. He had a free throw and that was it, averaging 12.3 a game. 15 to fire. We are very early in the second half. LSU leads by 30 to 14. Rebound to Turner after the miss. Green on the baseline takes an extra step. Garrett Green trying to make a move to the basket. That's only the fourth turnover for LSU. Which is good. You know, they're not turning the ball over, have more assists and turnovers right now. Nice penetrating kick there, but Sanford tonight's having a tough time finding the basket. A rebound bounced straight down into Green's hands. Sanford is 0 for 7. Warren turn around jump shot won't go. Rebound is on the floor, and there may have been a foul on Garrett Green. Yeah, he pushed, pushed him in the back. That's his first. Green has been a double.